Pop Squizzle. Which game do Sonic, Ray, and Mighty team up to escape Eggman's Island? And who is the absolute best of the three? Say Ray. It's Ray. It's gotta be Ray. On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, we have many waves of Sonic the Hedgehog characters to catch up with. Most importantly, Ray the Flying Squirrel is here. Yay, Ray is here. But so many other characters like Big the Cat, Vector, just a full set of weird waves that we're finally catching up to. So lots of characters to enjoy, and we'll even throw up some character quizzes. How much do you know about your Sonic side character? So we'll play some games, and we'll enjoy quite the variety of the Sonic Ness world. Squirrel Speed! So on the table, finally, 4-inch representation of Ray the Flying Squirrel, Sonic the Hedgehog, Articulated Action Figure, Jack Specific. Lots to celebrate about. If you recall, we had checked out the 2.5-inch Ray from the Sonic Advent Calendar late last year, and we knew that there was a 4-inch Ray right around the corner there in what was this wave? 9, 10, 11? I'm getting my waves confused. You may have found one earlier. I think this one was probably hitting shelves late last year, but it was tricky to find. I'm now just now seeing these more often on shelves around me. Ray on the back of the box, 12 points of articulation. Ray is a flying squirrel, full of energy, enthusiasm, and adventure. Capable of gliding to high up places, Ray is perfect for getting the drop on some bad nicks. Ray first appearing Sega Sonic, you do not see him too often, but sometimes shows up now and again. But obviously super important for Squirrel Stampede. We love Ray here. So let's remove Ray from pack. He's in the colorful classic Sonic figure packs. The lighter blue with the giant ring behind and a youthful classic Sonic up top. And Ray out of pack. So there we have Ray, bright, bright yellow Ray. The vibrancy of mustard is on the table. Very lively with electric blue shoes. Squirrel tail. A little bit of flying squirrel flaps on those arms, and a wide open stare. Usually with these classic Sonic figures, a little bit of a large head to them. Of course, that's how they are depicted in gameplay with very large heads. Sometimes a little tricky in standing because of those giant heads. But he's pretty good. He's standing pretty well so far. Has that nice little squirrel tail for counterbalance. And again, there's little flaps on his wings to represent the flying squirrelness of the character. Also comes with a watermelon-esque Chaos Emerald. We've seen this one a few times. Slowly collecting. I think I still am looking for, say, a clear or white Chaos Emerald. So points of articulation for Ray. There should be 12 points, so I think over on the head there. One point head rotation, two at the shoulders and wrists, and then hips, knees, feet and maybe even tail. So does that add up to 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I see 12 points in there. Just don't forget about the tail. Ah, there he goes. He's so much more comfortable in flight. I kind of wish we had a hinge joint up on his head so that he could tilt his neck and look forward. That would have been a cool feature had that neck been able to tilt up for flight looking straight, but beggars can't be choosers. We really like this Ray figure. Pop squizzle time! What is not an ability skill for Ray? A. Super speed B. Gliding C. Red laser eye beams or D. Prehensile tail Place your answer in the comments. All right, so who is gonna join Ray next for today? I think it's going to have to be Vector the Crocodile, as Vector is really wanting out. Look at this, this packaging is splitting apart. More reason not to get things online because sometimes they come damaged. It's so frustrating that I found many of these after ordering online, just locally, not even a mile from the house. What? So Vector the Crocodile, what do they have to say about Vector? 13 points of articulation, pretty good. Where's that extra point? Maybe in the tail? Vector will take on any job that pays, but he'll also help Sonic save the world from Dr. Eggman out of the goodness of his own heart. Definitely Vector being a character I've heavily wanted to see over the years as Jack Pacific has slowly released characters at a snail's pace. We've seen so many reissues of Sonic Tails Knuckles and missing such a backlog of awesome characters. Finally, pumping some out. So this should be an easy open. Let's get Vector out. And done. At least that card is almost savable. 
Wow, he's big and different from anything we've seen before from Jax. My first thought, such vibrant green. Looking at my shelf collection of Sonic figures, I don't see much green in there, so it's pretty cool to see a reptile lizard in the equation of Sonic figures. And well done, look at the spikes down the Croc's back, nice black shoes, arm cuffs, great golden chain, and headphones, he's really decked out. And stands pretty stable with those very wide feet. So 13 points of articulation. And I think I figured out where that 13th point is in the jaw. You can close and open the jaw right there. Everything else is probably similar. We've got shoulder rotation on hinges that reach out, elbows, wrists, well, the wrist is in there somewhere. I moved his whole arm on that one. No waist rotation, but there's hips and there is ankles. And then back over to the tail. We can move the tail around, so plenty of points. And the head even should, uh, should be able to move. It's pretty thick. It's a pretty thick point, but it is rotating. You might even get 360 out of that, but I'm not gonna push it. So plenty of points of articulation. Look at these arms on him. The arms might as well be legs. They're so huge. That is great. Uh, what a figure. Accessory, a 10 coin. So we can place a 10 coin in either hand. This hand I think will be easier because it's kind of open already. Although you could probably grip it into that hand. Pop Squizzle! What is not an ability skill for Vector? A. Powerful Bite B. Bubblegum Descent C. Climb D. Crockpot Master Eggman Stew E. Or maybe all of the above? Place your answers in the comments. That wave also contained another version of Classic Sonic. I have seemed to open have several Classic Sonics though, so I think I'm gonna leave this one in pack. I actually somehow have three of this version with the smirk on his left side, or is that his right side? Whereas this Sonic figure does have the smirk over on this side, so there's a slight difference to this classic Sonic of this series. They're always moving something around. So a smirk, a little smile there, a printed smile, no, no teeth on that one, is over on that side, but overall pretty much the same figure. Comes with a, a bumper accessory. And also in this wave, there was an Amy. Funny that earlier when we first saw Amy, I thought, oh, she'll never be released again, and now we've had several, several opportunities to catch up with Amy too. So if you need an Amy, she's in this series. So now we're gonna catch up and go even more backwards. Here's SPO. SPO was late last summer, 2022, Jack Specific. I got really behind. SBO also a part of the same team that Vector belongs to, the speed member of Team Chaotix. He is a chameleon that can blend in 12 points of articulation. And we'll also check out that really awesome Egg Robo today. But we have seen Sonic and Tails several times. Although I'm kind of noticing my modern Sonic is getting really loosey-goosey. I might need to pick up a tighter Sonic at some point here. So SBO is here. I love adding such colorful characters to the collection of Sonic. Let's open up. And SBO. Oh. SBO is really clever. Look at that chameleon tail on there. Look at the spiral. How did they pull that off? Seriously though, that is one of the most sculpted spirally tails I've ever seen in an action figure before. It's so fine it almost goes into infinite swirl. Another great color choice too, this kind of fuchsia purpley color that will really blend in and add some color to your collection. SBO action figure ready for his ninjutsu ways with his yellow horn, cuffed metal bands, purple shoes. I think this figure is gonna throw down pretty nicely. Continuing on with 12 points of articulation, obviously head rotation 360, shoulders that reach out and move, uh, wrists to rotate in there, hips uh, to extend and kick out, knees, and some more foot rotation. I say again, that tail should have like five points of articulation just in that spiral. So definitely 12 points, great for posing. Those feet are holding him well. What a great character to continue on in the series. Pop squizzle time. What is not a skill of SBO? A, underwater basket quilting. B, stealth. C, espionage. D, prehensile tongue. And so actually, I'm still seeing SBO occasionally on shelf, even though it was a summer 2022 figure, I think you may still have a chance, at least at my target. They only have one or two pegs for Sonics, and so when they filter them out, it's just kind of random. Also comes with a checkpoint marker. 
I love the spring on those things. So the other figure in the SBO series that I've been holding on for feels like almost ancient times is Egg Robo. Another great figure. An articulated Egg Robo, Jack Specific. Little dust up there. 13 points of articulation. Egg Robo is an egg-shaped robot and is one of the more powerful Batniks. These guys, you're usually just plumbling over and over again, floating in the skies. I like that he has the Robotnik shirt, yellow collar ties. That's pretty funny on the character. This would be a great one to troop build. Only seen this one once though, and here it is. Kind of like Vector, reaches outward from the usual Jack specific figure type. Let's open up. Egg Robo, Egg Robo. Egg Robo out a little bit of difficulty standing early on here. See if I can straighten his legs out. Without holding gun, a little bit tippy maybe. The gun may serve as a nice tripod stand. We'll see here, but there is Egg Robo. What an interesting, unique figure. A little bit light on this one. I feel like he's almost hollow. The plastic choice is not as, say, heavy as some of the other characters. They're usually solid plastic inside those heads. And inside this one, I feel like it's actually like maybe an egg almost. But he's certainly colorful, very robotic, very something Dr. Robotnik would employ. Let's see if we can grab onto this gun on his arm here. Oh yeah, that cannon is certainly heavy and huge on him. I've got it braced down onto the ground so he doesn't topple over, but I imagine if I have this thing reached out... Oh my goodness, he's holding it! He's holding it! That's cool. There's a lot of balance to this guy, but he's got that huge rocket pack on his back that is holding and balancing out the gun shooting out from the side. Hopefully if the joints stay tight, he'll be able to continue to do that. So 13 points of articulation. So the head rotation is actually there. It is actually rotatable from 360 degrees all around, right on top of that egg-like body. Then we've got shoulders that reach out and rotate. We've got elbows that rotate. We've got wrists. We've got hips that bend for sitting and maybe even rotating, yep. We've got knees. Do we have knees, everybody? We should have knees. Yep, there are knees in there. And there are ankles. So we've got plenty of points. Uh, the jetpack even may rotate a little bit. Mm, yeah, the jetpack rotates. Kind of wanted to be a little careful with that, but there is a rotational point there. That feels like more than 13. Did I count that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I count 14 with that jetpack. I don't think they're counting the jetpack in there, so I got an extra point. Although, is the jetpack a point of articulation? Because it's kind of not really um, part of the body. It's more like something you're wearing. Uh, see if we can get him to stand. That is a very fun figure. Pretty awesome looking blaster. It would have been fun to find this guy and have at least three of them to attack your character. So if I see another one someday, I might just pull the trigger so that I have something for my Sonic guys to attack. You can't just go right to fighting Eggman. Pop Squizzle. In Sonic Generations, what color is Egg Robo's unique projectile? Yellow energy beam, cyan light blue energy beam, purple energy beam, or a green squiggly laser. There has to be minion play, so this one is an outstanding figure, 2022 midsummer, but you know, you may find one the way these figures get thrown out. And again, there was a Sonic and a Tails a part of that wave. You might find them, they're out there somewhere. So now we can go to the most modern of times. So now we can head back to the future of current with Big the Cat, a figure I've really wanted to see over the years. I swear, no relation to Big Gray Squirrel. Yeah, that's totally a random name generator there. It really, really was on that naming. So Big the Cat on the table, labeled just Big Modern Sonic Packaging, possibly after Vector and that Egg Robo, one of the most giant of action figures from Jack Specific. He is filling up most of the bubble there. Look at that. He is almost entirely back to card, front to bubble, bottom to top. He is the most plastic I've ever seen in a Jack Specific figure. There we go, 12 points of articulation. This series also with the Sonic and another Knuckles, and then also a Chaos. Chaos, Chaos. Though a gentle giant Big is not afraid to fight for his friends if they are in danger. One of Sonic's most trustful allies living within the mystic ruins. Some would say somewhat dim-witted with a heart of gold. 
This guy is really fun to see in figure form. It's one of those figures that just so enhance a group shot of figures because of his size and stature. It's just really cool to see. Okay, getting out without cracking my table. Oh man. Yeah, I'm gonna need a new table. He is, he's so huge. I can't believe they were able to fit him into this regular figure series. You could almost argue they could have placed him in some sort of special box and called him like an extra 20 bucks, added in some accessories or something. I mean, it's gigantic. So purpley impressive, so funny, so much character locked into this figure. Striped tail, kind of playing on the back. You can see a lot of print here. Sega 2022 Jack's Pacific designed. Santa Monica, it's like a billboard back here. We even have a zip code, California, plus made in China. There's a little more extra that you don't really need to know back there. It's kind of funny, it's printed so large. Definitely one of the coolest Sonic figures I've ever seen, really. This thing is cool. If you can find a big, it's so worth your money. You're getting a discount for the plastic involved. Too much fun with this guy. How many points of articulation? 12 points, so up on the head, there should be 360. Well, I wouldn't want to push that. Yeah, the hair on the back of the head is going to encumber that, so probably just a little bit of left and right looking. Shoulders on hinges to rotate around and out. Elbows are even included. Sometimes the thicker the figure, the harder it is to add some articulation and they kind of skip out on you. And wrists right there. Look at those gloves. Those gloves are mighty. Uh, nothing in the waist rotation. Sometimes they can hide stuff in that belt. Uh, hips on points to rotate and move and hinge and ankles. And then a tail, a spot for the tail. So what does that add up? Does that add up correctly? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve for the tail. So yeah, we've got full points of articulation there. He's so large, the ring accessory included looks tiny, so he comes with two rings. And those are rings we've seen before with a little hole in them so you can place onto action figure bases. Certainly impressed with Big. Look at those ears. Those ears are huge. What do we have on height, by the way? Just over five inches. So typically these figures are a four inch scale. Looking at Ray again, Ray comes out at about four inches. Big is up there, pretty close in height with Vector. Those are the big guys of the series, the big guns. Looking fantastic. Another Pop Squizzle. What does Big the Cat most often get stuck in? A, Froggy's fishing line. B, a standard Green Hills loop. C, Small Mystic Ruins Porta Potty Sandbox. Or D, all of the above. Place those answers in the comments. And our last figure of the day, it's a doozy. God of Destruction, Chaos. Or was that mouthwash? Maybe one of the first translucent figures from Jack Specific. Oh, this box just got so smashed in shipping. Never seen one on shelf. Both Chaos and Big Gray back there, you're gonna find just now appearing on shelves. And look at that giant Master Emerald too. That's the largest Master Emerald I've ever seen. It's huge, it'll be interesting to see if it opens up. Maybe we can place some Chaos Emeralds inside. An ancient god whose power flows and it consumes the negative energy of the Chaos Emeralds. 13 points of articulation. What exactly is this dude? Almost kind of hedgehog-esque. Chaos, a life form with body made kind of of water, I think I'm reading, can take numerous forms. A good alternative to fight versus Robotnik. So retrieving Chaos out of the pack. There it is, Chaos. You can kind of see the inner workings of how a Jack specific figure is made with this one. Very liquidy blue, very shiny. This is a figure I almost do not want to touch too much and fingerprint it up right now. It's so shiny out of pack. And this Master Emerald, I'm calling it. I don't know if it's a Master Emerald or just a green Chaos Emerald. I forgot the lore almost of this guy. It is hollow. I wish it opened up. It's glued together, I think, down the seam of the top here. Uh, there's a little hole there. Maybe you could place onto a pad display base. Would have been fun to open that up and place other emeralds inside. I don't know what I'm thinking, but this figure, pretty spectacular. 13 points in there somewhere. Obviously head rotation starts it off, but then remember these little side tendrils or whatever, these ears are gonna get locked up on him. Shoulder rotation, elbow rotation, wrist rotation, no waist, but there's hips, knees, and ankles. Ankles are just kind of a flat rotational thing. And over on the back, nothing there. 
So is that right? It says 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, 13 points. I'm getting my points all mixed up. It must have been that Egg Robo with the 14th on that backpack. And again, this is a rare opportunity to see how Jax really does their articulation. You can see the pin going into the arm there and then the hinge and then even some little blockers there to uh, ratchet the pieces so that they lock into place and then rotational points there with a little ball joint even inside. Maybe you could possibly pop this hand off. I wouldn't do it, but there it is. And then the pins go into the waist there, the inner waist, and then rotate and lock on those little joints uh, for positioning. So really fun to finally see how do they really do their articulation in there. It's the secrets exposed with chaos. And you can even see that Chaos doesn't really have any brains in there, so how smart is he for a god? So a fun figure I imagine will fly off the shelves pretty quickly because it is so different than what we've seen before. And you can kind of get him into some interesting positions with those weird duck feet. Oh, he moved. Ah, great. Final pop quizzle. Which form of Chaos most looks like an angry blob of toothpaste? A. Chaos Zero, as we see here. B. Chaos 4, kind of shark-like. C, Chaos 6. D, Perfect Chaos. Or E, maybe all of the above? Get those answers in the comments and debate. And there we go with many waves of Sonic still available all around. Some dropping now, some dropping months ago. You'll find them if you keep an eye out. If you like today's video, please give us a squike, a squirrel hive, squamit, your favorite Sonic character. Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that.